The purpose of this show, the of this show is to guide you to realign, to realign with habits that get you to live the life, live the life you've always dreamed of. Right. This, this is the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast with Jesse Ewing. This is the habit-based lifestyle Where you can access your full potential right now Finally break free from destructive habits That dream life, if you want it, you can have it This is where you transform your health Mind, business, and relationships Or do nothing and keep your life the way it is But if you're ready for change, you're in the right place This is where you're gonna learn how to live a habit-based lifestyle You, you, you are tuning in to the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast With, with, with your host, Jesse Yule This is this, this is the Habit-Based Lifestyle. Let's go. Welcome back to the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast. I'm your host, Jesse Ewell. And today we're going to be talking about taking a stand. Well, today now more than ever, we are living in a world where you basically have to choose a side. You have to choose a side that you are on in order to move forward. And, you know, this is, this is relevant, but this also may, makes me think about, you know, where is the, the hardest place for us, you know, as a society, as, you know, maybe a, a husband, father, businessman, leader, um, where is the hardest place for us to take a stand? And, you know, this place is specifically for you know someone who owns a business someone who operates a business and they will know exactly what i'm talking about exactly the feelings that you go through and exactly the stand that you must take and and the reason why you must take this stand is because if you don't take this stand your business no matter how successful it may be, will not fulfill you. Your business, no matter how successful it may or may not be, it will never fulfill you. And so as we get into today's episode, I want to simply work on this from a place of you know, business owners, entrepreneurs, people who do work uh, for themselves, people that you know, have chosen this path of wanting to create a life, a lifestyle, and, and no longer be a slave to their business. And so if you didn't know it, you know, the hardest stand you will ever take, the hardest thing you'll ever do is, is the stand you take in your business. You know, and I think about where we're at today as a society, you know, last just over the last three or four weeks, you know, with with racism, with all this stuff going on and bringing to light, we live in a world of of cancel culture. You could literally say, "Hey, here's what I stand for," and the next day, or you know, that day, you could personally be attacked by clients. You could personally be attacked by employees just by what you believe or what you stand for. The problem with this is if I have people around me that don't let me stand for something, then I'm going to stand for them. And the problem with standing for them is meaning that I am just trying to please everybody based off of what I say. And so as a society, what you'll see right now is, is businesses, you know, saying that, hey, you know, black lives matter, all these things, and and they do matter. But they're being forced to take a stand. The problem with this is if they decide to change something in that stand, they're going to get canceled out. If they choose the wrong thing in that stand, no matter what they believe, the opportunity exists for cancel culture. And what does that mean? That means that you will be backed in a corner and you will be forced to choose to take a stand. And when you're forced to choose to take a stand, no matter what side you stand for, 50% of the people will not like you. 50% of the people will go away in your business. 
Because here's the thing. If you don't tell me what I want to hear, then I'm no longer listening. If you don't tell me what I want to hear, I no longer believe what you believe. If you don't tell me what I want to hear, I don't value what you value. And that is the hypocrisy of today. It's mind blowing. If you don't change the name, you know, whether it's, you know, Aunt Jemima, whether it's, you know, uh, Uncle Ben, all these things have been around for 130 years and, and there was no problem. No one raised anything. And in fact, I think about, hey, if I was Aunt Jemima, would I be upset that I'm no longer you know, the head of this, this place when, when thinking about maybe the, the things that she had went through back then compared to now, like the effect of what she went through 130 years ago is, is mind blowing to what it was today. My guess is, is 130 years ago or, or however long ago it was, it was 20 times more difficult than it ever thought of being today. But I want to talk about taking this stand in your business and why it's so hard. You know, think about, you know, the president today, whether you like President Trump, whether you like him, don't like him. That's not what this is about. This is about he took a stand for what he believes, just like every other president that's that's been elected. They've taken a stand, and regardless if you like them or not, 50%, imagine this, 50% of the people are going to hate you no matter what you do, no matter if you do what you they want you to do, the other people hate you. If you don't do what they want you to do, then the other group hates you. So either way, half of the population will end up hating you no matter how good you do, no matter the things you do. 50% of the people are going to disagree with you. Imagine if you had to wake up with that weight every single day. That is one of the most difficult things that you do as a business owner is we get into this place of people pleasing. We wake up with one or two people hating us and, you know, our whole world falls apart. I think back to, you know, being a gym owner and you know, making changes, whether it was like getting new, stupid things like getting new equipment in, you would get and replace old equipment in your, in your gym. Or even when I was working in box gyms, we would replace old equipment with brand new equipment and members would literally freak out. They're like, where is my old equipment? Where is my favorite machine? But this is what happens in our business. We change things. We don't take a stand. And then we try to bend them to please everyone in our business. And while we're pleasing everyone in our business, the one person we are not pleasing, the one person that we are not fulfilling is ourselves. And I know I've compared a lot of things like the president of the United States, but think about this. You are the president of your business. That means that the day that you said, hey, I want to be a business owner, I want to run my own business, I want to have this freedom, the number one way you can put yourself in prison, you can build a wall around yourself and not be fulfilled in business is simply by you trying to please everybody that walks into your business. Now, I'm not telling you to you know, not be nice to customers. I'm not telling you to not, you know, connect with them. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is if you try and please everyone in your business, the number one person you will not be pleasing is yourself. Because here's what I know. The more people I tried to please, and, and I would say this, the, the first seven, eight years in my business, I tried to please everybody, including my employees the thing that I found is the more people hated me when I tried to do that because I wasn't being true to myself. I wasn't being honest with myself. And so the day that I started being honest with myself, the day that I started taking a stand in my business for the way I wanted my business to be, the way I wanted my employees to be, I had to go through a transition period where a lot of those people that were there just because I was bending over backwards for them, I was trying to please them, 
they started to leave. They started to scream and yell, and they started to cause all kinds of problems in my business. I had employees that would do the same because they were used to me bending over backwards for them. They were used to me basically doing whatever I needed to do to make them happy. And in the end, they were never happy and neither was I. And so this was a dysfunctional relationship. If you cannot stand and take a stand in your business, you will have a dysfunctional business. What does a dysfunctional business mean? That means your clients aren't happy and that means you aren't happy. That means that every transaction you make is a conditional transaction and that conditional transaction means that you are giving up yourself to please someone else and inside of doing that neither one of you will get pleased that means the minute you take a stand in your business 50 percent of the people will not like you 50 percent of the people will not be for your business that's not a problem don't worry about them don't let that get into your head just like you know those are people that, that they're not going to like you regardless of what you do your stand will hurt their frame. Your, your stand will hurt them, and they won't like that. This causes us to actually go deeper inside of ourselves and say, well, wh hey, who do I truly want inside of my business? See, out of that 50% that's left, 35% of those people will probably not be able to afford you if you're doing your pricing right. And, and so part of taking a stand is putting a value on your pricing, not bending over backwards just because you got to make money or just because you need more clients. But taking a stand means that you might be at the top end of the market because guess what? If you are at the low end of the market, the stand that you're taking is you're saying, hey, listen, getting as many people signed up as possible is more important than my beliefs, my value, and what I see in myself. So out of that 35%, out of this last 50%, 10% will complain you're too expensive, but they'll still sign up. So these, these are people that will sign up with you, and along the way, they're going to probably tell you, hey, you're too expensive. I don't know if I can afford to keep going. And in the process of doing that, they're going to try and get a cheaper program or a cheaper membership the entire way. Now, every these are also people who are going to tell you exactly how you should run your business, how you should change things in your business. And I, and I believe all feedback is really good in business, uh, but you also have to know what your business is about, know what you want, know the stand you're taking in your business, because if you let people dictate how you run your business, things you should do in your business, you will be frustrated. You will be frustrated by them. And I remember this. I had a ton of people that didn't even own businesses telling me what I should change and what I should do in my business. And some of them, some of them were great ideas, but most of them were terrible ideas, were terrible ideas. And, and you know, I would often say to myself, like, listen, Hey, I love the feedback, but I got to be honest with you. When is the last time you ran a business? When is the last time you were an entrepreneur? Because working for someone else and sitting back and seeing things, hey, these are what you should do. That's all based off theory. That's not based off of facts. That's not based off of anything. And so people in your business will think that they can run your business better than you. And most of these people are not even business owners. Most of these people have no idea what it takes to run a business. But as you take the stand in your business, you will have about 5%. 5% of the people that we originally started with, you focus your time and your energy on. These people will get results. These people will invite their friends. These people will love what you offer. But these people will also not be afraid to tell you the truth to tell you the truth about your business, about the results you pro provide them, and they will often help you, guide you along the way. And I remember you know, several clients that I had that they would say, hey, man, I got to be honest with you. 
your your service in this particular area is kind of lacking. Your follow up is lacking. Your you know your marketing is terrible, or your your training from some of your other trainers is not good. And I would say, hey, you know what? Thank you, thank you so much for telling me. Um, and I would make changes to it. But think about this: if we fight the people who are going to be honest with us, then we're not ever going to stand for our business. If we fight the people that are honest, and here's what I found is, is most people, when they tell you the truth in your business and it's credible, these are the changes that we can make. And, and clients appreciate that clients see that and just say, Hey, I know this is a place I got to get better. But what the real question I want to ask you today is this, where in your business do you need to take a stand? Maybe it's inside of your relationship with your clients. Maybe you're bending over backwards for all your clients, trying to please everybody. And in the process of doing that, you're hating yourself. Maybe it's just taking a stand for a certain type of clients that you want. You don't want the clients that are like leeches, that are sucking your blood, sucking your energy. Maybe it's inside of your marketing. Maybe it's inside of your sales process, or maybe it's inside of your employees, your leadership. Maybe your employees are talking behind your back, but whatever that is, you need to make sure that you're willing to take a stand for your beliefs and what you truly want in business. So I want to thank you guys for being on here today. If you're looking to connect further with a group of like-minded people, join myself and so many others in the Habit-Based Lifestyle Secrets group on Facebook. Um, you can also text me, uh, Habits, H-A-B-I-T-S. If you want to be part of the behind-the-scenes stuff happening at Habit-Based Lifestyle, uh, text me, 949-506-5791. Let's connect until episode. Next episode, have a great day. The purpose of this show, the of this show. is to guide you to realign. With habits that get you to live the life, live the life. you've always dreamed of. Right. This, this is the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast with Jesse Hughes.